What's going on guys? Cloud7k here, bringing you yet another Volley Bear game. Uh, in this video I want to show you guys how to dominate and make everyone else your bitch. Uh, let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, I know I didn't really explain my build last time I played Volley. Uh, we're going to be in the jungle. Um, I'm running uh, basic uh, jungler runes, which is 15% uh, attack speed, 13 armor, and uh, 12 magic resist, and quintessence is a move speed. I'm also running utility for this one, and I'm going to show you how powerful utility is. I'm level 1 right now with level 1 boots at 405 movement speed. I'm a fucking truck, pretty much. So, this video I go ahead and decide to take Olaf's red. I usually like to start out with stealing the other jungler's red. Being it's a bronze bracket, I don't really give a shit about uh, being counter jungled because it usually doesn't happen unless the signs are there. And obviously you can see that the signs aren't there. Let me go ahead and take Fog of War off. Erd. Oh, I did it backwards. There we go. That way you don't see what they're doing. So we'll go ahead and speed this up. A uh, quick explanation on how I do my volley build. I like to start off with my fear, my E. And then I'll go ahead and put a point into bite. After I do a point in bite, I'll do a point in my Q for the flippage. And then I'll go ahead and I'll max out bite. You want that full attack speed. And that basically what attack speed will give you is more procs on your ultimate. And you just dominate. Uh, Volley Bear doesn't require any lifesteal. On this one you'll see my build will be a little bit different. I'm going to go for tenacity because I don't have it uh, built in since I'm utility. Which is uh, 0, 9, and 21. So I went ahead, I did. I got the red, I did my blue, then I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and do my red again because I need that extra experience. And what I'm going to do is find opportunities to gank. And I was going to go for top lane, but it was pushed, so then I decided to just go check, see where Olaf was. I found him, I had to get out, burn ghost already. I could have stayed and fought that, but I would have died, and I didn't want to burn my passive. Uh... It's almost necessary for Volley to keep his passive. Uh, so instead of going back, I go ahead and I go top. I see that Olu Deer's low. Bite the shit out of him. I KS'd it. This Darius is pretty pissed off at me because I kept KSing him, but it built me and it snowballs the lane pretty much, so I don't really give a shit. And you saw how I ganked. I, ca I came and I hugged the walls. I didn't want to be seen. So now, I think I'm just waiting for an item here. Yeah, I waited for a Giant's Belt. <clears throat> I went ahead and started a Giant's Belt stack. Just needed a little more health. Now I'm going to go back into the lane. And I don't know if Udyr actually saw me go back into this bush or not. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to camp him. I want Udyr to fall bad. So I'm just waiting for Darius to engage on him. Once I see the end gauge, I go ahead and go in, dive, steal it. Get the three hits, bite. Bite was nasty. I got three points in my bite. I'm running... Let's see. 170 plus 66. And not only that, whatever health he was missing. So I could have easily did 400 damage there on Ola Deer. I'm going to go ahead and clear my jungle camps. I try to get a gank on Fizz. I don't think I get it here. I told Cassiopeia to go ahead and, and uh, bait him. When I saw him go in, I went ahead and I dove in, but he got to the tower. I backed off. I, I could have got him, but I, I just completely pussied out right there. I didn't feel like it was worth dying. Uh, so I go ahead and I get my wolves, hit my wolves up, and I'm watching Udyr right now. Get my level 6, 8 minutes in. A little slow, but that's okay. I could have just sat there and ganked Udyr a little bit more. And 
that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm heading to top. And before I could get there, Darius dies. He dies pretty close to turret. So I'm going to come in behind Udyr. Now Udyr fights me right here. Let me slow this down. Udyr fights me. Look at how close our health is right now. He's actually beating me with Tiger Stance and his shield. But I just sit there. I decide to take him a little bit more. Uh, that attack speed and my procs on my ult will definitely help out the fight. I was stunned there, so I flip him bite him I should have I bit a little early but I still get the uh, the kill on him because I have my passive so now I'm gonna go ahead and tax the lane a little bit more pushed it out a little bit uh, I was worried that I was gonna see a little bit of Olaf in my lane uh, I wasn't paying attention on my map and he was gone off the screen so I went ahead and I backed off so now my blues up I'm going to go ahead and, oh, actually I decided to counter jungle here. No, I don't. I decide to gank Fizz, but I didn't see him. So then I decide to counter jungle. See Red's up. I'll take it. Olaf doesn't need it anyways. And I'll speed this up so we don't have too long of a video. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is I, I've got a lot of speed. I ended up beating out Udyr. Um... 3-0. I only have 31 CS, but that's okay. I'm farming champions. Fell gank on Fizz. That's okay. I back off from him anyways. See Olaf. I back off. Go the other way around. Try to follow him. And right here I see Olaf just running around. So I go ahead and I attack him. Get the kill on Olaf and get the kill on Udyr. Double kill right there. So now I'm 5-0. And I'm just basically, I'm snowballing myself, and I'm putting New Deer in a bad place. Because now Darius can push. Well, he could push, but he died right there. I didn't see Fizz come in. Uh, go ahead and take out Fizz. That bite is what wins fights. So max that E out. Get them low enough, and take the bite. Just know how much damage you can put out. Remember, I, I've got that massive movement speed. I'm level 2 boots, and I'm at 418. And my Q gives me that 10%. Uh, and I'm at level 2, so it's... I can't remember what level 2 was. Uh, oh, 15%. Then it's 35% movement speed towards uh, champions. Oh, let's go back right there. Go back a little bit further. I decide to take blue. And I see that o Olaf comes down. And he's attacking me. I'm just ignoring him. I end up get, <laughs> wasting my bite on his uh, on his blue. Then I decide that I'm just gonna go ahead and dunk on him a little bit. I didn't have to use my ultimate at all, and just walk away from Fizz. I didn't need it. So now I'm level 11. Olaf is only level seven. So I've got four levels on Olaf. Udyr is level 9. I'm just snowballing the shit out of this lane. I'm I'm dominating. I'm making everyone my bitch. I have complete map control right now, and that's what you want. Quick dive down below. Don't need to sl slow it down. Go ahead and push a little bit. Get that tower. We decide to do dragon. Get a little more gold. You can see we're... 24k above their 17k for gold, so we're way ahead. I see Twitch up here. Uh, I was debating on taking this tower. I don't actually get it. I back off because I took a little too much damage, so I leave top alone. Uh, I misclicked. I was trying to click on uh, store, and I didn't see what... Uh, I didn't see that I, I wasn't actually in store and I clicked. So now I'm just pushing mid. I see mid's wide open, so I'm going to go ahead and push it. Top tower's still up. I see Fizz is there. I go ahead and I just chase him off. Uh, top's wide open, so I run top. Go ahead and kill these minions here and get that tower. 
Now mid's down. You can see that what I've done has just snowballed. Has completely snowballed this game. And I see Udyr again. Decide to gank him. I flipped him the other way, but it doesn't matter. We still got that. Then I see old fish boy here. So now I'm 8-0. Just snowballing the shit out of this game. Uh, we go ahead and back off. We wanted to play it a little safe. At least I did. I wanted to show you uh, the, I guess, the maneuverability of this build. How you, how moving from one point of the map to the other is pretty easy. Um, your cooldown reductions are easy. Oh, I forgot to go into items. Oh, I forgot I can't pick up items. Um, why am I not selected? There we go. So, before I got that frozen mallet, I went ahead and I went uh, Spirit of the Ancient Golem. I was going to go Spirit Visage, but Fizz wasn't hurting me that bad. And then I went ahead and I got another giant spell. Then I decided, well, I need to slow Udyr down, so I picked up that frozen mallet. Um, basically, that's it. I'm just forcing everyone out. I have map control. No one wants to mess with me. No one wants to contend with me. Sitting at 8 kills. Zero deaths. Uh, only three assists because I every engage I was taking the kills from people. But I needed that. I needed that buff. Because now I'm, I'm the strongest person on the team right now. Let's see how quick we took out Twitch. Just melted him away. That's what we needed. CO Fizz here. Go ahead and throw him back. I actually missed that kill. I was going to KS it too, but... Uh, <laughs> and Caitlyn and I decided to have a... Uh, a kill war. We were tied for kills, so... She snowballed, and I didn't even need to go down in that lane. I went down there one time to help them get the tower and, and do a quick gank, and that's all they needed to snowball. So let's speed this up. This game's almost over, I'm pretty sure. Uh, just a quick end gauge here. As you can see, I wait until he gets low, then I do the bite for the KS. I get hit by Fizz, his ult. I just, I'm whatever. I come back in, back off. I wait for, I wait for other people to take damage. But I wasn't going to go nowhere at all. I was ready to fight. <clears throat> oh, right here. This is the ultimate volley bait. I have Darius bait him over, then I bait him in, <laughs> I wasn't going nowhere, I was waiting for them to attack me, I just sat here killing minions, I knew they had vision on me, Darius runs up, I just stand there, I see Fizz come in, then I see Olaf, now I'm going to back off, now watch this, I'm still going to bait the shit out of Fizz, Fizz is so greedy, come on Fizz. Follow the bear. Follow the bear. Come on, you little fish fuck. Roar. Walk in the bush. Run away. <laughs> that was the best bait that I have ever done. And usually I'm baiting my team. So I'm 11 and 0. Uh, four assists. Like I said, I was stealing all the kills, so I don't have a lot of assists. Um. My movement speed is crazy. The ability to get uh, from lane to lane to help your team to push a different lane. Th that's, where you're, that's how you're going to win all these games. you got to be able to put pressure on. Just put the pressure on wherever you can. Once you put the pressure on, it's game over. If they, can't, if they have to struggle to bring their whole team into one lane to stop a guy, and you have two lanes or maybe three lanes pushing it's game over so you want to dominate go ahead and take this uh, in him and they surrender so anyways guys uh, if you liked it subscribe um, if you want to follow me more I have a Facebook page uh, facebook.com backslash cloud 7k hit that shit up all right thanks guys